Okay, welcome back. We probably only have like two more videos to show you. I, I, th this one is the longest one that we do because I'm introducing the course. And as you can tell, I get off track. So I think the due date is still fine for this. It's a, uh, a week from today. Um, you'll have plenty of time to do it. Uh, so let's take a look at what, what, what it is I'm asking you to do here. So, all right, so you click on it. And here, this test allows multiple attempts. I think it's maybe unlimited. I'm not sure. Um, and you don't lose points for it. So you go through and you, you do the, the test. Okay. Let me, let me show you how this would work. All right. So we hit the continue. And then here's what is physics? Okay. Um, I'm going to say it's some insane science that I'm supposed to take so that I can complete my degree. Uh, how many meters is eight feet? Um, I'm going to say 31, which is way wrong. In the article containing uh, Caltech, how many losses did they endure? You, you'll have you, the articles there. You can read it. It's on the screen. Um, how many? I think they had 31 Nobel Prize laureates. It might be 32. I'm not sure. What is the essay we use to measure length? Well, I'll answer one that's correct. Then we use the second. Of course, we use the kilogram. So, um, oh. In that silicon sphere video, how many atoms, how many was made up silicon 28 sphere, how many atoms? So make sure you listen for that. Um, if an astronaut has 100 kilograms, 160, don't divide that by 16 now. Anyway, I would just want to show you. So I come through here and we get down to the end and I go, okay, save and submit. And it says, hey, the following may be incomplete. I don't care. Okay. So I go ahead, and then what you have to do, what you have to do is hit the OK button. So I'll hit the OK button. And here's my results. You go, hey, dummy. Ooh, I don't want it to tell you what the correct answer is. Oh, I got to make sure I turn that off because I don't want you to see the correct answer. <laughs> so we got those right. Oh, it was 31. No, but, and this is, you'll get your printout, and then you'll you'll go back and correct the ones that have an X. And so you go, okay, 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 I'm done. And then you can try it again. All right? So let's go, let's go ahead and look at some of the problems that uh, could be on here that might be tricky for some of you. All right? And then I'll make sure you get your... Uh, and I also include the notes. Um, I'm going to take off the notes that are on there now and put on some new ones. So these are all self-explanatory. You know how to convert meters to feet. You know, so you have eight feet. So you've got one foot equals how many meters? And you both, you know, we already did, we already did the, uh, we, we did uh, meters to feet. Now you're doing feet to meters. So you take one foot is how many meters? All right, hold on. I always hate it when I do that, when I say, okay, you know how to do this. So you know that one foot is equal to 0 0.305 meters. All right. So if you're going to do eight of them, remember, 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 we do that. All right. Caltech basketball team. We've already done all those. Now be careful in the silicon sphere. All right. Uh, it has a hundred. What is his mass on the moon? What is his mass on the moon? Does mass change? Ah, but what is his weight? So in question 10, so let's look at question 10 here real quick. Question 10 says his weight, which is a force, which is how much the gravitational force of the earth pulling on him, says so 180 pounds. Well, the moon is only one sixth the earth's gravity. Ah! If you take one-sixth of something, what are you doing? Oh, not 1800, 180. What do you do? Yeah, you got it. Buddy. Sorry to spoon feed you, but I don't want you to get frustrated on the very first assignment, and then you'll drop the class, you'll write bad shit about me. Okay, speaking of the moon, it orbits the Earth 240 thousand miles from earth how many meters is 240,000 miles okay now for those of you that are used to scientific notation as a matter of fact I'm going to do this one I'm going to do this one for you 
all right, so that you can see how scientific notation works. So 240,000 miles on the Earth, so we got 240,000 miles. And how many meters is that? Well, there's 1,600 meters in a mile. So I've got one, so I've got one mile equals 1,609 meters, or 1,610. You can say 1,610 if you want. And I got 240,000 miles, so I'm going to do 240. Thousand. All right, so now watch what I'm going to do with my calculator here. I'm going to clear everything and I'm going to put my calculator in um, scientific notation. Okay, so it goes, and then so. Okay, so I've turned that off. So it's, it's, on, it's in scientific notation. So I'll do um, 240,000 times the 1609 and that says 3.86 e to the 8 big e to the 8 I am pretty sure that blackboard reads it the same way blackboard reads it like whoops blackboard reads it like that 3.86 and you can do 3 point cuz I cuz I have an error thing in there. So we'll do 3.86 because some students that really know how to do this get frustrated. E8. Okay. That's the way to look on Blackboard. All right. I'm pretty sure. So let's let's hit the submit button and let's just double check. I, 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 know all this wrong. I think it's important. Come on back. Yes, it is capital E8. Okay, 3.84, correct it. Okay, I did 1609. This one's probably 1600. It's fine. See, I've got an error in there for you today. Oh, man, you're looking at all the, you're looking at all the uh, answers. Okay, get out of there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, and save this video.